So today I'm going to be working on my 2006 Dodge Caravan. Last week I had a flat repair I needed for the left rear tire. When we took off the left rear tire we took a look at the brakes there and saw that they were running mighty thin. A week later, <laughs> this week, I have a flat repair that needs to be done on the right rear tire. Frustrating. But I took off the uh, the tire, took a look at the brake pads, and they're mighty thin as well. Okay. I've got my travel case of tools. I've got more tools that I can use, but these are the ones that do me pretty good on the road. Let's go to the junkyard and get some parts. Sometimes going to a pick and pull junkyard is a real gamble. Today the gamble paid off. I'm working on my 06, 07 Dodge Caravan and uh, I came and found an 04 Dodge Caravan with the same rear end. So let's take a look. This vehicle had a lot of front end damage but no damage in the rear end. So I'm taking a gamble uh, that these are still useful. There's not a lot of rust on this front end here, so I'm thinking that this vehicle hasn't been sitting here in a while. This is a seven millimeter Allen wrench. It's got a nice long handle. I chose to bring it along because that's what I need for these nuts back here. Now I've already loosened them up, but these nuts come right off. And I'm gonna do this to both sides of the right and the left rear of this vehicle. We're going to unscrew these, pull the entire brake caliper right off. Now I'm over on the left side, and I'm unscrewing that side because I'm also going to use these brake pads. And I'm showing just how simple it is to get these off. I apologize if we're a little out of focus. You just pull that out a little ways. Let's work our way over here to this one. Again, this is a seven millimeter Allen wrench, hex head, wrench, whatever you want to call it. And you can see at the bottom of the screen how it's unscrewing screwing from that housing. And there you go. Set my wrench down. And just wiggle until it comes right up and out. Those two bolts hold this entire thing in place. Alrighty, have to... We're back at the 2006 Dodge Caravan of mine. I've taken off this caliper and now I'm going to take off this brake pad. Now these are on there pretty tough so get yourself a nice solid screwdriver and stick it in that hole and dry down on those things. Now when you're doing it you're probably going to be able to use both hands. Switch hands here. Wait, you're so and hold that right there. It's still recording. Down. There. really tight in there there and then the inside will just come right out okay usually a mechanic would have a specialty tool to plunge this cylinder back in to the caliper I don't have that so I'm going to show you a neat little trick a nice big C clamp wrapped around with the internal brake pad already in place and you just start squeezing it in and it's gonna and, and do it slow it's gonna gently push that cylinder back into the caliper by doing this you're not opening the brake line you're not allowing any air bubbles to get into your brake line so you're not gonna have mushy brake pedal or anything like that later you can push it in all the way or just far enough to get both brake pads in place and this caliper back on the once you get everything to sit back together 
start screwing it back together. Once you've got everything reassembled, you or have someone else step on the brakes. Don't, don't turn the car on yet. Just have them step on the brakes, slowly push the brakes down, and they'll probably feel them go all the way down to the floor. Pull your foot off, let the brakes come back up, then slowly push it back down again. What you're doing is you're getting this cylinder to extend so that it can cause this caliper to grip and then it'll center itself, align itself up, and it'll sit in its position for braking safely. You can hear the slide of the brake pads as they go over the disc. And if somebody inside stepped on the brakes, it would stop the caliper, the the disc from moving. It squeezes caliber shut. Okay, it's a little bit later in the day. We're on the left side of the vehicle. Got more shade to work in. And I noticed the inside pad is paper thin. So I'm doing my brakes just at the right time. That one off. And I'll do the same thing with this side, taking off these pads and putting on the other pads. I'm going to show you this C clamp trick on the other side. I've got it on the flat side of the inside of this caliper, and I'm using my old brake pad. For the inside to give myself a nice flat surface and just start screwing the thing in there hopefully without twisting it off see that piston in the cylinder working its way back into the housing this keeps again from having to open up the brake line and risking an air bubble in the cylinder. This was the old pad, so out with the old pad, in with the new. It's just got a little clip there that puts it in. Well, I hope that kind of demystified the brake job for you.